For years, you have been, there have been rumors about shady dealings with, among Maricopa County Board of Supervisors. I'm a new resident of Arizona by nine years. I wasn't here a month, and I heard about it. It's amazing to me. But I'm from Chicago, so why should you be <laughs> Particularly with regards to Mary Rose Wilcox and Don State. Why shouldn't the county attorney investigate these persistent allegations? Why wouldn't you want that as a citizen if there is truly evidence? What reason would one have not to go after these people? But the answer is if you think that there are shading dealings among the supervisors or your clients, the proper thing to do is to refer that to another county or to the Attorney General. Now, he couldn't refer to the Attorney General because he had the Attorney General under investigation for four years. And, and, then, and now he's admitted there's nothing to it. He just came out of the newspaper saying there was nothing to it, there's nothing against the Attorney General. He had a, he had a press conference announcing that he was investigating the Attorney General and held that over his head for four years, so he couldn't refer it to him, but he could have referred it to one of the other county attorneys. Now, the, you don't indict your clients. The Meekum case was an exception because in the Meekum case, you were talking about the governor who has his own lawyers. He's not just represented by the attorney general. The attorney general represents all the departments, but the governor has his own lawyers, so that the court said that was an exception. But it's a first-year law school principle that you do not indict your own clients. Every person, every person in this room has a situation where they may need a lawyer, and you are owed a duty of fidelity by your lawyer, that you can trust them, that you can say anything to them, that they will represent you. You don't investigate them, and you don't indict them. And the judge that heard that case said that what he did was unethical. The judge that heard the case dealing with the uh, the question of whether they could have separate representation said what he had done was unethical and when he decided to be ethical he could start representing them against. The judge that he just talked about that made the specific finding that he had brought cases for political retribution said that what he was doing was unethical. So there's three judges in three separate cases saying that the actions of Andrew Thomas were unethical and you have to decide whether you want to have an attorney general who's willing to act in a way that different judges in different cases call unethical after hearing the evidence. Now, if you don't agree with the judges, I have no problem with you appealing it. That's fine. You can appeal it. Although I would say it's not just a coincidence that every single political case was dismissed or dropped. But what you don't do is you don't accuse them of bribery. You don't accuse them of extortion. Four different judges who've ruled against you in four separate cases. It's a, it's a, it's a crazy thing to do. And it, and it can only be done for one possible reason and that's intimidation. And we cannot have prosecutors trying to intimidate our judges because every one of us have our constitutional rights protected by an independent judiciary that is subject to appeal, but is not subject to having made up charges against them that they took bribes, that they took extortion when there's not one bit of evidence that they ever did any such thing.